These are the top 10 automations that every business should have in place to streamline their work, save time, and make more money. And these are the exact same automations that I use for my agency. The first automation is for appointments that are booked in your business. Whenever somebody books an appointment on your calendar, it will remove them from any other workflows. It will assign them to a specific user, whoever that appointment is assigned to. It will then add a tag, an appointment book tag to that person, to that lead. Then it will update that lead to the appointment book stage in our pipeline. And then it'll send an internal notification text message to myself saying that John Smith has booked an appointment with me just so I'm notified. Then it'll send a confirmation email to John or whoever the person was that booked the appointment. Then it will send him a text message as well, just confirming the booking. And then it'll wait two hours before the appointment starts. It'll then send him a two hour reminder email, just reminding him about the appointment, sending him the Zoom link. Then it will remind him through text as well, two hours before the appointment, saying the same thing, sending the Zoom link. And then we'll send another text or we'll do another wait step of five minutes. And five minutes before the appointment, I will be notified personally um, saying that my appointment starts in five just so I can keep everything organized and I can be notified when my appointment is about to start and it'll text John or the person who booked the appointment um, with the link again to the Zoom just so they make sure and they're reminded that they show up. Automation number two is for people who don't show up to the appointments that they book. And so we have a trigger after I have an appointment with somebody, I tag them with this no show tag. It'll remove them from the other workflow that they were in for the appointment. It'll update them to the no-showed stage in our pipeline. It will then shoot them a text message saying, hey, I'm waiting on the Zoom call, just checking to see if you're running a little bit late or you need to reschedule, whatever. And then we'll send them an email kind of saying the same thing. Just, hey, we're on the Zoom call. And if you need to reschedule, let me know. It'll wait two hours and then it'll send them another text message and say, hey, just, you know, mm -hmm wanted to see if you needed a reschedule. Um, and then if they reschedule at any time, it'll pull them out of this automation into our other booking automation again. Um, but basically it'll email them again, two hours later, and then we'll follow up another day later. And then we'll shoot another text to them, mm -hmm. another email to them. And if they don't respond to any of these texts or emails or reschedule with us, then we will put them into our long-term lead nurture automation, which I'll show you next. This is our long-term lead nurture campaign, which I am editing right now, so it's not all filled out, but we don't need a trigger event because the other automation will send them directly into this one. It doesn't need to have a trigger, it'll just automatically happen. Basically, we just wait a month, we shoot them an email, wait another month, shoot them another email, wait another month, shoot, and every month we're shooting them an email. And these are just generic emails, right, about our business and our offers and things like that. We can pre-write these, we can use AI to write these, and uh, basically just email them every month. So we're basically putting them onto an email newsletter for the whole next year. Um, and so it'll send out, I think, over a year's worth of emails, just waiting a month between each one. You could shorten this to every week or every couple weeks just to stay on top of them more um, and maybe later on they'll come back and realize dang i really do need these services and so they'll book with you again um, but yeah that's how that automation works my fourth automation is for people who showed up to the appointment but they did not buy yet a lot of times people aren't ready to buy or they had objections or they need to talk to their spouse or whatever it is so i just tag them with a showed but didn't buy tag so that's the trigger event that triggers this one off after the appointment happens it'll remove them from our other workflows it'll update them to the appointment showed but didn't buy stage in our pipeline and then it'll wait one day shoot them an email it'll wait a second day it'll shoot them a text and an email and then two days later we'll wait and then we'll shoot them another text another email and then another two days we'll shoot them another text and another email these are text and emails i'll show you one of them here um like this one for example hey nice meeting you the other day or hey john nice meeting you the other day um, did you know websites can be customer magnet so just talking a little bit more about what our offer is and trying to get them interested again um and just keeping in touch with them after the appointment and it's asking them you know if they still want to go forward with our services and so that's what all these text and emails are doing our fifth automation as part of the customer journey is when somebody actually becomes a paying client of our business we can automate 
the onboarding process. We just trigger it off of the sale being made. So when somebody checks out through our cart on our website and they purchase from us, it'll trigger off this automation. It'll remove them from any other workflows because we don't want to keep hitting them up in other places if they are a paying customer of ours. It'll add them to the paying client stage in our pipeline and then it'll email them and send them a welcome email and it'll text them and send them a welcome text message when they begin to work with us. The sixth automation is an answering machine that when somebody calls in, it'll have a robotic answering machine. So we have a welcome message that'll send to the person and then it'll collect the input from the person, whatever number they type, and it'll send them down a certain branch, whether they pressed one, two, three, or they didn't press anything at all it'll reroute and it'll re-loop the message but if they press one two three it'll show them a list of services if they press one um, or share with them a list of services and this is all pre-recorded you can record it yourself or a robotic voice male or female saying these messages if you don't want to use your personal voice uh, number two um, it'll ask to, for them to record a voicemail number three it'll it'll transfer the call to a certain agent if they don't type anything it'll re-loop and do the whole thing over again our sixth automation is going to be for running facebook ads if you're running any sort of paid ads facebook google you can create an automation that'll automatically follow up with your new leads so whenever somebody submits a facebook lead form it will then add them to our pipeline in the new lead stage it will then send them an email an automated text message we'll wait for two minutes for them to reply to our text message if they don't reply within two minutes it'll go down this none branch it'll automatically call us on our phone connect the call to them to the lead and so it'll basically automatically prompt us to call the lead if they don't answer that call it'll send them a voicemail if they did respond it'll ask if the reply was positive or negative so we usually ask them a yes or no question if they replied yes it'll get them to book an appointment if they replied no or negatively it'll send an internal notification to us that they replied that way. This is just a great way to stay on top of new leads and make sure they're nurtured right away as soon as you've captured them through your ads. Automation number seven is a Google review request. If you're a local business, you rely heavily off of Google reviews to help boost your rankings. And so after a customer becomes a paying client, we have our paying client tag that triggers this one off. We will wait one day and then we will send them a Google review request asking them to rate our services. This is a very basic automation, but now you don't have to remember to send those Google review requests out manually. It'll automatically send to each new customer that you get. I believe we're on automation number eight. This one is for my free SEO course. So as part of my offer, I give people a free SEO course that they can access. They just have to put in their name, email, and phone number, or the trigger event is when they access it. So when they access this local SEO masterclass offer that I've created, then it will automatically send them a text message welcoming them to the course and an email with their username and password and login information so they can access the course. Very basic one. This one I tied to my organic content. So when people see my reel on Instagram, they comment the word SEO on the post and this is what I send to them as a free lead magnet so that I can capture leads and start building up an email and text message list that I can remarket to and ultimately turn into customers for my business. Free courses are a great way to build that list and you can automate the onboarding process of that course. Automation number nine is a survey like this that I have on my website that people will type in their information and fill out as part of the process of working with us. Once they submit this survey with all of their information, then it'll trigger off this automation. So that's the trigger event is when they submit my WebView survey. Then we have an internal notification. So it'll notify me that, you know, John Smith filled out the survey and wanted our special offer on our website. It'll then text John Smith and just send an intro message through text message and it'll email John Smith or whoever the person was that submitted that form an email just to know that we're going to help them and we're working on reviewing their survey. I counted those automations up completely wrong, but those were our 10 automations that we can use for any business just to help save time, make more money and streamline our work process. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you haven't started using Go High Level yet, which is the software we use to automate all of this stuff, you can get a 30 day free trial of it down below. And if you use that link, I'll help you set everything up inside your account, and make sure you're automating your business like I showed you in this video. I also have my free website SaaS masterclass where I show you how to build websites for businesses and use these different automations to help streamline businesses. You can access that down below as well. Other than that, I appreciate y'all, love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.